Creating a Sustainability Matrix. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 578. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. Welcome back, everyone. My name is Jay, and this is our April 15th, 2024 edition of Weekly Progress Update. Today's topic is creating a sustainability matrix. And everything you see happening in the background of this video is what we are open sourcing and free sharing tools tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for plans for replication as an example of what is possible by creating a sustainability matrix. And what is a sustainability matrix? Well, a sustainability matrix is, is a matrix or an interconnected group of parts, components, designed to work better together than they work individually. And I think that this is important because right now humanity, I think most people would agree that humanity has become very disconnected to a lot of the foundations that are essential to our survival. Basic foundations like our food, basic foundations like water and air quality, you know, basic foundations like community, basic foundations like uh, how our housing, our ability to, to, to build our own homes, to build homes without toxic uh, materials, things of that nature. And, you know, our approaches to this on a, on a global level have been an approach of band-aids versus solutions. The idea is that, oh, we have a problem with homelessness. Like, let's throw money at that problem and see how we can address homelessness. We have a problem with food insecurity. Let's throw money at, at you know, at, to, to, to bring food to Africa. You know, we have a problem with social injustice and inequality. Let's form groups and stuff to try and address that, that issue specifically. We have a problem with war. We have a problem with crime. We have a problem with low quality education. You know, we have a problem with all these different things. And so how do we look at this individual problem? How do we address this individual problem? Because we know that we have the ability to grow food without poisons, pesticides, herbicides, fungicides sprayed on them. We know that we have the ability to solve the homelessness crisis globally because we can build as many homes as needed. It's not an issue of lack of, of land. You know, and we can we can build homes that are more artistic, beautiful, last longer, are more durable, and built without toxic and, and uh, materials. And these are just some examples. Like we have the ability to address all of these challenges. And so, creating a sustainability matrix is about recognizing that all these challenges are not only interrelated, but they're really interdependent. And that putting a band aid versus a comprehensive solution doesn't make any sense anymore. Now in the in a world where we have the ability to globally collaborate, globally cooperate, we have all the resources that we need to be able to create solutions. We have the know-how, the knowledge exists to be able to create solutions, to create a world that works for everyone. Now that we have the ability to do something different, to take the everyone for themselves paradigm and put that behind us and instead focus on an, uh, an you know a highest good for all paradigm. Now that we have the ability to do that, the time has come to create a world that works for everybody. And one community is here to create the sustainability matrix that takes all the components of that, which we've identified and broken into two different categories, the physical foundations of sustainability and the emotional foundations of sustainability. Taking the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combining them with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified and call highest good approaches for fulfilled living, education, economics, and stewardship, how to manage all of it. Putting all this together and creating open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for replicating these things and making it easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so the idea of creating a sustainability matrix and demonstrating these sustainability matrices will spread on its own. And it's called a sustainability matrix because each of the components supports the other components, the food, the energy, the housing, those physical foundations support each other, but they also support 
the sustainable model and the highest good approach to the fulfilled living, the open source education model, the definitely the economic models and the stewardship, making it a comprehensive living model that is a uniquely meaningful living experience that most people don't have access to right now and making it easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so the idea will spread its own by open sourcing and free sharing it, inviting people to participate and experience what it is that we're doing and making it as easy as possible to replicate each of the individual components as a pathway to global sustainability in a world that works for everyone because we want to provide something for everyone, not just people that are interested in teacher demonstration hubs that teach all these things or in community living that demonstrates all these things, but also people that just might want to build themselves a sustainable home that's built without any materials that have toxins in them. You know, it's going to last longer, look more beautiful and interesting and uh, be a better home to live in for them and their families. Or maybe people that just want to grow food that isn't sprayed with the three most common poisons, which are pesticides, herbicides, and fungicides. You know, and so, or maybe somebody just wants a, a home-based education program that is better than the standard and traditional education programs that are out there right now. And so, our idea of creating the sustainability matrix on the on the physical level is creating creating open source plans, tools, tutorials, resources, do yourself instructions for the physical foundations of sustainability and the emotional foundations of sustainability, and showing that how putting all these things together can reduce the cost of living, can produce a better experience of life, can create a more enriching and fulfilling uh, environment to live in, and overall improve the quality of the whole living experience while simultaneously demonstrating radical sustainability that is better for the, the whole planet and everybody living on this planet and everything living on this planet because we're moving towards a culture of sustainability, a sustainable civilization. You know, so that is really the idea of creating a sustainable uh, sustainability matrix on the physical level. But creating the sustainability matrix on a global level is also a part of this, which is building this on a foundation or with a foundation designed for globally sharing it, globally cooperating and collaborating and getting this information out there and working with other organizations to create other versions, other adaptations, modifications, evolutions, iterations, different versions of what it is that we're doing so that there are more and more open source plans for other people to access, for people around the world to access to create different versions of what it is that we're doing. So we have a, a different option for, for whatever the different needs are to be able to replicate around the world. And this is why we have seven different sustainable village models because you know one village model might not be the best example or the best uh, solution for a certain environment, whereas another one might work may, way better in that, for instance. You know, And so our idea for creating a sustainability matrix is to take this physical foundation as well as this global collaborative tool and, and network that we're creating and leverage them both to create a world that works for everybody within one generation. A self-replicating model designed around teacher demonstration hubs, one community being the first teacher demonstration hub that invites hundreds of thousands of people to visit annually to see what it is that we're doing, to experience what it is that we're doing, and open sourcing and free sharing the complete living experience, all the different components so they can be replicated as either the complete teacher demonstration hub or as individual components for the highest good of all people in life on this planet. This is our idea for creating a sustainability matrix. And we're looking to reach that tipping point of mainstream adoption such that we can say that we have achieved a sustainable civilization. And we're, tra we're trailblazing a path to global sustainability while doing this and building an engine for change that anybody can participate in and open sourcing and free sharing it and demonstrating the difference between capitalism and contributionism, between competition and collaboration, between band-aids versus solutions as a path to global sustainability that will, benefit, that will benefit every person and living thing on this planet. And again, within one generation, a self-replicating model of teacher demonstration hubs designed to teach other people how to create teacher demonstration hubs to simultaneously address the greatest challenges of our generation and generations to come because once again they are not just interrelated but interdependent and so this is our idea bringing people together with shared interests and values and creating a world that works for everyone creating open source plans tools tutorials and resources that will work for people that aren't interested in that that just want to improve their own life and creating teacher demonstration hubs that will evolve it all and work together in cooperation and collaboration around the world to share all of this and 
and make it all happen faster. So this is what we're doing. We're an all volunteer organization creating this. We're a nonprofit organization. We're a non-governmental organization. And um, we're creating it so that anybody that wants to participate can and uh, open sourcing and free sharing it so that it can be replicated around the world to create a world that works for everyone. So if you're into this kind of thing and you like a weekly dose of positivity, subscribe to our newsletter and, uh, and you'll get an email once a week with these updates. If you like the easiest way to support and help us out, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch this video to the end to support our algorithm. Um, if you'd like to get involved and help, visit our helping page. There's ways that anyone can help there on that helping page and contribute in various different ways. And uh, if you'd like to see exactly what it is that our all-volunteer team has accomplished within the last week, visit our weekly progress update. If you'd like to see all of our open source plans and tools, tutorials, resources, do-it-yourself instructions, the results of over 300,000 hours of design and development and research, visit our website. And uh, yeah, this is how we're creating a sustainability matrix. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on Keep it on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One Community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One Community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, Part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.